everybody, in this video I will teach you how to do the split screen transition that is so popular. It's super easy to do. So let's go to Premiere Pro and I will show you how to do it. Okay guys, let's make this transition for three seconds. And as you can see here in the timeline, this line is exactly, look at the time here, two minutes and 58 seconds. So if we deduct three seconds, it's gonna be two minutes and 55 seconds. So let's go there. There you go, this is two minutes and 55. So if we press C, for the cutter and then we cut here. Now we have this block that is three seconds. We want to duplicate this block, okay? There you go, duplicate it. Let's maximize this. Let's go to 150% to see properly what I'm doing. The first thing that I'm going to do, opacity, we're gonna choose a pen and we're going to select here in the corner the best that you can do. There you go. Now we go to the other side. We select this part, we're doing good. Then we're gonna go to the top left part and we're we're gonna click here, there you go, and we go down and we close this like kind of a triangle that we're doing, that's it. Now if we fit the screen, you can see exactly what I did, right? I just divided this image, but we have to do the top part also. So we're gonna do exactly the same in the top, but of course the upper part, okay? It's gonna put the 150% to maximize it to see how I'm going to do. In this case, we're going to start from the bottom right corner. Again, opacity, the pen, there you go. Now we go to the top. And then we're going to do the same to close that triangle here. Great. Now we're gonna fit the screen. And as you can see, we click here. You can see that the image is already cut it in two because you can see here a little bit of like, like a line here. I'm gonna, let me maximize to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here is like a black line, but why? Why this line is here? Okay, this is very easy. The line is here because if you select the bottom video, you're gonna see that in opacity, the mask feather is in 10%. We're gonna put it in zero, and then we're going to go to the top video and do exactly the same. We're gonna put it in zero. And now the line disappear completely. Now we are perfect. If we click in the eye here, you can see that actually the cut is perfect. If we do the opposite, let's clear here, you can see it's perfect. Now we have to create the transition, give movement. And the first thing we have to do is to nest each of the videos. Let's go here and let's nest them, okay? Let's do the same with the bottom one. There you go. Because the effect we're going to apply here is not gonna work if the video is not nested. Now we come to the effects. I already typed transform and you will have the effect that we're gonna use here. Be careful because there's another transform over here. So it's going to be easy for you to find because it's in video effects under distort transform. Okay, we're gonna pull it and we're gonna put it in the first and the same we're going to do with the bottom video. There you go. Now, if we come to the effect controls and we can see here we have the transform effect, we're going to give the movement to the video with this transform effect. Here in position, first thing to do is to click here to create a keyframe. That's how we're going to start. So we're gonna pull it in the beginning. Now, remember I told you I want to divide the image in three seconds. So then if we are here, as you can see here in the beginning, two minutes and 55 seconds, we go to one second forward, it's going to be two minutes and 56 seconds, there you go. And this is where we want to change. This is the first stop of the transition. We're going to change the position, the values, okay? In this case, we start with the 1920, and what we have to do with this value is to reduce the value. When we reduce the value, the image is gonna move down, okay? So in this case, to reduce the value, we're gonna give 20% less. So to give 20% less to 1920, we multiplied 1920 by 0.8, and the number that we got is 1536. There you go. Now, to move the 1080 down, actually in this case, we have to make the value higher because if we go, I'm gonna show you, if we go down with the value, the image is actually moving up, as you can see. So that's not correct. We have to higher the value. But remember, we're playing with 20%. So in this case, we have to do the opposite, 1080 by 1 1.2, and then we get 1296. I know it's a little complicated, but just trust me, if you like this 20% and you like the transition, just use the numbers I'm using and that's it, you're gonna be safe. Now we have to do the same idea in the upper video. We go to transform, position, remember, First, we click here in the clock that is going to put the keyframe. This is the beginning. We put it in the beginning. But remember, now we're going up. We're not going down. Instead of multiplying 1920 by 0.8, we will do the opposite. 1920 by 1.2. And this is 2304. And then 1080 by 0.8, and we get 864. 
Now, because we want this image like this to hold for one second, we're going to go, remember, we're here in 2 minutes and 56 seconds. Let's go to 2 minutes and 57 seconds. And here, what we're going to do, because we want the image to hold there, we're going to use this keyframe. We're going to copy and paste it here. You can use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Immediately it's going to happen. And you can also just click select it, pressing Alt, pull it all the way here, and that's it. You got it. Now let's pull this line to the end. Because at the end, exactly in two minutes and 58 seconds, we actually want the image to disappear. So we have to keep giving movement to this. Remember that we are with the upper video here selected. We are in transform, right? Now we have to change the value here. And to change it, remember that we add 20% to the value of 1920 to move it a little bit out. Now we want it 100% out, so it has to be the double number, okay? So it would be basically 1920 by two. And this is 3840. And now remember that with the 1080, we did the opposite. We went down, so 100% out of 1080 would be zero. There you go. And now we're going to do the same in the bottom video. But remember, in this case, because it's going down, it's going to be the opposite. So 1920 would be zero and 1080 would be double of 1080. 21, 60. And we are done. Like I said before, just don't worry. Just copy the numbers I'm using and you will be safe. I can see here that I had a mistake. Did you see that in the upper video, I'm going to come here so you can see, we copy this and paste it here to make this one second of the image staying there. We forgot to do it in the bottom video. So what I'm going to do now here is look for this 57 seconds. There you go. And we're going to do the same. We're going to copy this and paste here, there you go. Now, this is what we have. Perfect. Now, we want to give realism to this image. So what we're going to do here on the bottom, you can see use composition and shutter angle. We want to give this blur because you know when something is moving, it's a little blurry. You don't see it that perfectly. So we're going to unclick this, use composition and select it. And here in shutter angle, we're going to put 180. And this is going to give a little bit of a blur. Remember that we are working with the bottom video. So as soon as the video starts to move, it's going to be just a little bit of blur, just a little bit. Now we go to the upper video and we do exactly the same. We unclick here and we put 180%. Basically, we have already the transition done. As you can see, it's already done, but what happened? We don't have any image under. So what we do is we select these two videos, we just pull them up, and this other video, we're going to put it under them. Last touches before we go, it's to give this smoothness. Let's don't make it too harsh. You can see it's a little harsh in the transition. So what we're going to do is here, select the first keyframe, right click, and we go to temporal interpolation, and we put easy out because the transition is coming out of this keyframe to this keyframe. And here we will put in, there you go. Here the image is gonna be a static. There's no movement, remember? And again, we're going to do the same here, here, Temporal interpolation, easy out, and then here, easy in. We will do the same with the other, and we're done. Look how cool it is. I hope you're gonna start using this transition in your videos, and if you like this tutorial, you know what to do. Until next week.